If you haven't done so yet, please pause the video and try to answer the question on your own before listening on. We know that for an infinite line of charge, Gauss's law gives us the electric field according to the following equation. So we have E representing the electric field. We have lambda, which is the linear charge density, as and is in fact what we're looking for. Pi, of course, is a constant, as is epsilon, and then r is the distance away from this infinite line of charge. Since we're trying to calculate the linear charge density, why don't we go ahead and multiply both sides of this equation by 2 pi epsilon r. That way it'll cancel out on the right-hand side. And then, since the electric field was given to us, in a standard unit and the distance is also given in a standard unit all we have to do is plug those values in to the equation we know pi is a constant and then epsilon is 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12 so we'll just go ahead and plug in the known values so we've gone ahead and plugged in the known values when we compute this we get approximately 5.00 times 10 to the minus 6 as the value for lambda and then dimensionally we can see that the Newtons will cancel, we will have a factor of Coulombs cancel, and then a meters will also cancel. And so we are overall left with Coulombs per meter, which is indeed the standard unit for linear charge density. And so this is the correct answer to the question. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click the thumbs up icon and also subscribe so you can stay tuned for additional videos. Remember that you are welcome to send in your own question to the email address shown on the screen, and I'll do my best to post the solution to it on YouTube.